Navy Pier is saying goodbye to Crystal Gardens and welcoming a 3D virtual reality experience. Chicago Tonight's Joanna Hernandez meets with a woman who is on a mission to save the popular attraction. If you have ever visited Navy Pier, then you have probably stumbled across Crystal Gardens. Once you walk in, you can't help but be captivated by all the natural beauty. Geez, you can hardly find a place like this anywhere else in the city, you know. You walk in here, it's calm, it's peaceful. You got these fountains, these trees. Celine Wasgala was hoping Crystal Gardens would be the place where she and her fiance would get married. After making some calls, she found out the garden was set to close. I went straight to my computer and started looking into it. You know, I found some news articles that a new zoning ordinance was going through the Chicago Planning Commission to rezone this area as a commercial area, which is which was for the aluminarium. The free one acre indoor garden is being replaced by a 3D immersive experience called Illuminarium. I understand COVID-19 has been a really tough time. I'm sure Navy Pier could use the revenue. I think it's a little ironic that I've read articles about the CEO of Illuminarium. He's quoted saying that he's trying to democratize extraordinary experiences. What's more like democratic than a free green space for everybody? Crystal Gardens has been inside Navy Pier for nearly 20 years. For some, it's a hidden treasure, and the thought of losing this place may come to a surprise to many. I suggest means uh, they can build safari somewhere else, but this, should, this place should be here. Wild, a safari experience is set to be Luminarium's first show. According to the entertainment company, it will virtually transport participants to Africa. They should keep it the way it is because the virtual safari experience, I'm sure they're going to charge. And this space, that anybody can walk in and it's free. Navy Pier temporarily shut down last year as it struggled during the pandemic. A spokesperson told us revamping the Crystal Garden has been part of their plan since 2016. It just doesn't click for me. I would love for Navy Pier to find another space to put a luminarium. You know, I know that the IMAX theater is just closed, unfortunately. That could be a great space for it. Wasgala is now leading an effort to save the free garden by starting an Instagram account. Wasgala says dozens of people started sending her pictures and memories they had of the garden. A petition has now generated more than 20,000 signatures. I had someone who works here in Navy Pier reach out to me and tell me, like, hey, I think that's a great idea. I hear about people who are like on their way to the Ferris wheel, on their way to like other end of the pier, you know, and they just happen on this place and they're just amazed. Illuminarium plans to invest more than $30 million in the redevelopment of the Crystal Garden space, a plan Navy Pier is backing. A spokesperson also telling us the project was fully vetted by city officials, and they also say they have invested in new green spaces throughout the pier. However, Wascala still has hope that with enough support, Navy Pier will change Illuminarium's location. I think this place should continue to exist and continue to have be a space for, for happy memories for, for years to come. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Joanna Hernandez. And construction is expected to begin in mid-2022 with Illuminarium opening its doors the following year.